First, you have to select your input device. Then you set your bore size in millimeter. You get the resonant frequency. And then click listen, start listening. This is where you do your baseline run in a safe ignition timing setting. Just to see how low this thing is coming in. And it is coming in a bit too loudly right now. So we have to increase the threshold a little. And do another baseline run. So the ideal place is to have the levels right near the black mark. But not touching the green mark. Okay. So now let's see what it is like with the engine timing advance. And we get a knock. There's a knock registering down here. 103. Wow. Okay. Well, for that engine, uh, for 80 millimeter bore size and uh, 7.2 kilohertz, that was that. Now let's go up a bit to a 92 millimeter EJ20. <laughs> setting the baseline first so we see where it is far from the black mark so we have to increase the pre gain we don't really want to reduce the threshold so we increase the gain and oops just a little bit too much right there so we just increase the threshold just a little bit more and we're ready to go Look at that. And here we go. Yep, this is heavy detonation. The previous engine sample was light detonation. This is heavy detonation, which is more than obvious. Someone, even if you have no clue what's happening, you know that something is not right right there. So this is it. This is basically how you use the software. And hope you have fun using it.